Greetings, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Mic'd Up Sports Friendship Quiz, available wherever you listen to podcasts. Joining me are a pair of student athletes at Concordia Academy, Grace Landvik and Yvonne Tensaye. Yvonne, you may know her as the all-time leading scorer in Concordia Academy history, the first to score 2,000 points ever at the school, a Coaches Association All-Star. She'll be playing at North Dakota State College of Science. And Grace Landvik, uh, Grace, I know you have a lot of sports in your resume as well. I met you through basketball, but I understand you've got some other sports that you take up. Yeah, I play volleyball and golf now. Volleyball and golf. I remember seeing you in volleyball now. <laughs> it's all coming back to me. I've been home for most of the last six months. Uh, so we're going to put their friendship to the test with our friendship quiz. And before we get started on the quiz, if you don't mind, I'm just looking this over to, to make sure that neither of you included this as a question. Okay, it, it doesn't look like it. Where did the two of you meet? What was your initial reaction? And how do you think your friendship has grown since your first meeting? Yeah. Well, we met, we met when we were in kindergarten. Mm -hmm. We weren't in the same kindergarten class. But like we went to the same school for like most of like elementary through middle school. Yeah, I transferred school. sixth grade year. Yeah. So, so like most of our younger ages. Yeah. So I don't really remember that far back what our first impressions were. I but know. but I mean, as you could like assume, we've definitely gotten really close over the years, and I think especially basketball brought us a lot closer and like um, really solidified like our friendship going into high school as well. So yeah, it's been a minute since we've known each other. Like I feel like I've known her my entire life. Like I don't really like remember a point of yeah. exactly meeting her. Yeah. And how will that friendship manifest as the two of you get ready for college? Because I presume the two of you will be heading to separate schools. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think we'll definitely make the trip out to see each other play and just keep in touch over holidays and stuff and hang out. Like, I don't see our friendship going away. Like, we've known each other forever. So. Yeah. And she is going to um, University of Northwestern in St. Paul, which is like literally two minutes from where I live. So, I mean, it probably won't be too hard. Like, when I, whenever I come home, just to like stop by and say hi and stuff like that. So. Mm -hmm. Northwestern, not too far from where you go to school now, actually. No, not at all. <laughs> I've been to that campus a few times, and you don't realize how close it is to the metro. Yeah. So what have you enjoyed most about this friendship? I don't know. It's just, like, easy. Like, like I just know Yvonne's always got my back if I need to, like, have advice about anything. Like, it just... I don't know, super easy. We yeah. never, like, never have really fought, like, at all. Never. Like, never. <laughs> like, just. Yeah, it's pretty just, smooth sailing, to be honest. But, I mean, what I mo love most about it is just, like, it's really lighthearted and, like, goofy and funny. We just, like, joke around with each other. Mm -hmm. And it's nice, like, in basketball, too, like, just our chemistry, especially this year on the court, was insane. Mm -hmm. And, like, just seeing that develop since like fourth grade when we first started playing with each other until now is like really cool to see. So, I mean, obviously our friendship off the court is like, um, like the best thing, but especially how it translated to basketball was really cool to see too. Yeah, she just sees me in transition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, some great stories and I imagine you'll have a lot of stories to share as you get ready to pick up your diplomas with all the accomplishments you made in basketball and beyond. And who knows, maybe the two of you will cross paths again in college. We'll have to see what happens. Yeah. So here's how the friendship quiz works if you're watching this for the first time. Grace and Yvonne came up with a set of about 20 questions for each other. I have been assured that they have not revealed the questions or answers to each other ahead of time. So they will ask each other 
the questions they've composed. We'll tally them up. And it's a bit like whose line is it anyway. So the points don't matter. <laughs> so if one of you struggles, don't worry. Again, the points don't matter. It's just kind of a fun gag to keep everything together. And because you're college athletes, you know, I don't know how cash prices, all of that would work out anyway, because <laughs> you know, I try not to get you in trouble with the NCAA. Uh, I will ask you this. Have you determined who will start? Who will go first? Yeah, I'll start with my questions. Okay, so Yvonne will ask Grace her set of questions and then we'll flip it. And I've mentioned this a couple of times. If there's time and the two of you come up with any additional questions you want to throw at each other, go for it. Because the only rule I have is to make this as fun as possible. Sounds good. All right, so Avon, I've got your list of questions for Grace with me so I can follow along. Uh, but whenever you are ready, you can start whenever you like. Perfect, okay. We're gonna start with an easy one. Okay. okay. What's my favorite color? Red, my favorite color is red. There's one. All right, what's my favorite pop slash fountain drink? Rope beer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this, okay, this next question plays into What's my Chick-fil-A order? Well, depending <laughs> on how full she is, she'll either get three or four tenders. Um, and then she'll get, sometimes she'll get a large fry too, you know. <laughs> yeah. you, you gotta eat. And then she'll get a rope here too, depending on the size. Mm -hmm. And then the Chick-fil-A sauce. No. No, barbecue. <laughs> yeah. That was good, that was good. Yeah, that counts. Okay. You got that. Okay. Yeah. Um, which do I get more often, Starbucks or Caribou? Not which do I like more, which do I get more often? I think you get Caribou more. From no, you totally get Caribou more. You totally get Caribou more. I get, that is I'll, call, I'll tell you why. I get Starbucks more because it's justified in my head because the small drinks at Starbucks are slightly less than the ones at Caribou. So it's like justifying in my head that I'm spending less money. She's lying. It's <laughs> not true. I she guess is, No, she's not. <laughs> she's lying. You're lying. No, I'm not. Okay, next one. If, okay, we talked about this a few weeks ago, so I expect you to get this. If I couldn't wear number three, which number would I wear? We did talk about this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like it'd have to be third. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because that was her number in middle school. No. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That was so. That was my number on the first team we were on together. Mm -hmm. And then on my like middle school team, I was number thirty. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I don't remember that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is my favorite NBA player. Kyrie. Grace, you know what? If you've got a guess, why not throw it out there? Because you never know if there's another person that comes to mind. You might get the second part of this. You might get it. I've definitely mentioned this multiple No, I know who it is. I just can't put a name to it. He's like, he was in a bed. Uh, he was in, you, I don't know. Who is it? I don't know. <laughs> who is it? Bryson Tiller. <laughs> Grace, I'll give you this. At some point, Bryson Tiller may end up in the Avengers with all the cast that joined the MCU. <laughs> he might be there at some point, but no, uh, but not quite yet. Uh, I'd say half a point is fair. You did get Michael B. Jordan. That's easy. Yeah. <laughs> Bryce isn't Michael B. Jordan. Okay. Um, oh, this sounds funny. Okay. 
What's one thing you always ask me to do but I never do it? Go to the locker room with you or go to the bathroom with you or wear the good vibes sweatshirt? No, no, no. Oh, 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 those are actually good answers though. The I good know. vibes one is a good one. <laughs> but that's not the answer I had. It's to go to the vending machine. I would just say, uh, before you ask the next question, Grace, just make sure your head's not leaving the frame. I know it's a smaller screen, but I, I want to get your reactions when you ask these. But yeah, how did we score that last one? Because, right, you, you didn't say go to the vending machine, but it sounds like it Grace, like, like <laughs> you, all right, you won't give it to her? Okay. I mean, although, like you said, good answers. It sounds like uh, you could ex expand on that. Yeah. <laughs> to almost anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Um, what's my favorite type of basketball shoe? So like LeBron's, Katie's, Kobe's, whatever. Kyrie's. No. That's a, that's a good guess, but no, Kobe's. Kobe's not my favorite. She's lying on these answers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What team are we playing when I scored with us? You idiot! You know I forgot this one! <laughs> Um, that is a great question. It was a home game. It was a home game. I feel like it's it's one of our bad conference games. It was Trinity. <laughs> she's, she's not, not, not going to get this. <laughs> do know it well you have the you gave me the oh, answer so i do know it but i also remember this because i talked about it when i covered a concordia game later that season i think i would yeah. reference this no but that's close we played them the next day <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So I yeah, she had about 30 points in that Matabidi game, I think. Yeah, you were closing in on it, and I remember you said something like, like I all right, I'm this close, let's just get it over with. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to get it at home, but I'm this close. <laughs> well, and they needed, I think, all 30-some points in that one. Yeah. I remember, so you couldn't just lay back. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Yeah, it, it was Matamidi, and I think I remember referencing it at the Mayor Lutheran game shortly after that, but... Mm -hmm. Glad you remember. <laughs> because Grace hey, does it. No. Hey. That's okay. all right, Grace. I'm sure you'll get uh, some answers right with these next set of questions. Yes. <laughs> okay, what's my favorite subject in school and why? Um, English, because she likes to write. Yeah, good job. Yep. Yeah. Good. There we go. <laughs> okay. How many classes have we had together this year? Total, both semesters. Are we counting study halls? You can if you want. 
I didn't in this, but I mean, you can. I think we only had calm this semester. <laughs> She's going through her entire sketch floor right now. times have you watched it Yvonne because last year with the break at with the <laughs> the breakdown book you said you watched the entire series five times through have you added any more to that or are you still at five for the whole series oh. they took it off the Netflix, so. yeah they did but I have watched it a few more times through before then so like uh I want to say like maybe seven do you know the feedback I have to free? You can watch it for free? For free? Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Good to know. So I just made one. It's good to know. Yeah, I try. <laughs> okay, what show have I been watching recently on Netflix? I mentioned this like briefly, like maybe a month ago. So I don't expect you to know it, but like you might be able to sit back and find it somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> um. Question. 
feel like he played the piano at some point. Yeah. Is that a yes? Sure. Yes. Yeah, that's half. That's half. <laughs> You know what I could count? The thing we played in the no, music class. I could count. We were all required to do that. The recorder? That counts. That she did play count. the recorder. We both played the recorder. That does not count. I think that's like four. Okay. <laughs> I feel like Sid said she played the flute. I feel like I was confusing that with the flute. Maybe. Um, okay, so, which side of my family, my mom's or dad's side, is lives in Minnesota slash just like the U.S. more so? And which side lives in Ethiopia? I feel like your mom's live here because when your dad goes to Ethiopia, I'm not here. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> my mom's side, so like most of my cousins from my mom's side, live in Minnesota, and then there's like a few that live in DC, and then most of my dad's family is still back in Ethiopia. Yes, because you went with your dad when you went out. When I went, we went as a whole family. Your dad has the Oh, no. yeah, 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 yeah. And my dad has an orphanage in Ethiopia, so he goes back every year, so. Um, okay, Never, name every sport I've ever played. I knew she used to do gymnastics. We used to. She tried to teach me. I feel like you played soccer at some point, like trying it out, or like Roby. Roby was trying to convince you to play soccer. You're right. I forgot that I played soccer yes. when I was little. I, I didn't even put that, that on my answers. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, answers. You did try. I did. Here you can. I think you played a little basketball. <laughs> um, and then, how many answers are there? You want to find out? Um, no. Maybe you should do that. I don't know. These are just a lot of for one point. I feel like I should know how many. <laughs> are you allowed to tell me how many? These are obvious, but like, I, you know all of these. Do you want one? Yeah. So, how many am I at? You have one more. There's one that you're missing. Oh, oh. Did you play volleyball? I don't think so. I don't know why. I feel like she's really bad at it, so we didn't play. Um, <laughs> you are really she's bad. Not, she's just trying to roast me. No. Yep. That's the sport I got up there. It's volleyball. Yeah. Um, sure. What? <laughs> I did volleyball one. So I was running! <laughs> yeah. I did volleyball in fifth grade. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I feel like no, I was on that team. Yeah. <laughs> you were on that team. <laughs> that was funny. It was. Okay. To be fair, I was I was gonna be Wari Grace if you hadn't said basketball. We were going through all the sports I know, of I life. Was, I was thinking, like, what if she didn't say basketball? That would be funny. <laughs> I was like, what happened? 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 Like, what that yeah. would probably would explain why she forgot what, what team you got your 2000s and 1000s though. Yes. <laughs> hey. No, 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 IT. It's, no, it, it really is. It, it seems easy, but it can be really hard when you're on the spot like this, Grace. So I'll give you that. So many different records. It's hard to keep track of. <laughs> That's true. You're right. Yvonne just broke every record imaginable. So she is a walking. <laughs> one because I know that one. I know. Just wait. Whatever your younger siblings or some younger friend is going to do a history project on Yvonne and have to oh, go wow. through all these records. <laughs> that would be funny. Too many. Okay. No one talks about volleyball. Really well. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Um, okay. Okay. Short list. Or soccer. You would prefer. I feel like I should get the last point because I got soccer and didn't mention volleyball. That could be a part of the bonus. Um, this is the last one. Name three words or phrases that I overuse. Totally. 
next one. Oh, I have a lot kind of. Oh, yeah. Um, you can do more than three if you want. I have okay. a lot. You do have a lot. Um. <laughs> um. I feel like you just say nice a lot. Like, yeah, you know, I just say nice a lot. Just like a lot of nice. That counts. Okay, that's three. That's so, three. What are the other, other ones? Um, for why? Oh okay, yeah. Um. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? Frick. Uh, tragic. You do say tragic. I should not. And tough. Yeah. Okay. Those are most of my. I feel like you got your mates. Yeah. That was good. That's all I have. All right. Mine are kind of easy. Love that for me. Okay. Wait. We'll start with the. Here, I'm going to go wait, leave the Gatorade question till the end because oh she's, she just doesn't know. So I'm starting on number two. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> well, well, I mean, you kind of, I was going to say, I guess you gave her the spoiler for the first one, so. Well, she doesn't know it. Did well, I tell how, you how, how do you know that, Grace? You haven't asked her the question yet. Okay, Mom, <laughs> what's my favorite flavor of Gatorade? Uh, <laughs> she's not going to know this. Glacier freeze. Let's take a guess, but it's called Rainberry. What is that? It's so good. <laughs> what color is that? Purple. Oh, Berry. that was. Is that the one? <laughs> oh, yeah, I never would have guessed. No, no. Um, what is my favorite ice cream flavor? Mint chocolate chip. I got it. Yes. <laughs> I wasn't yeah. sure about that. Um, what is my lucky freaking drink? Coke. <laughs> Since freshman year. <laughs> yup. Oh gosh. Okay, what is my section superstition? That I have to like, like a routine that I have to do for sections. For sections. If I give you this hint, you'll get it. It is a scratch. Oh. <laughs> that he bought like the apartment. I don't participate in this. She ate this. No. <laughs> okay. Um what game did I score my all-time high of 40 points? Same for Fred away. I know. She's clearly the better friend. <laughs> <laughs> or just have a bad one. Um, what is my favorite protein shake flavor? Like the nutrition flavor. <laughs> Raspberry <laughs> cheesecake. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> um, ooh, we played this game before, like our actual games, and so we have like characters. So what's my favorite werewolf character to be? Minion. Yeah, I <laughs> love being the minion. I feel okay, like I that's a that fun game. Before. If you haven't played werewolf before, play it. It's so fun. Okay, who's my favorite coach? Ron. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Tim watches it. Sorry, Tim and Jackie. I love you too. I just had to. I hope Ron watches it. Yeah. We'll send it to him. Yeah. Okay, what's my favorite sweatshirt of yours? Good vibes. <laughs> Bad Tim. <laughs> I kind of gave it easy questions. Ooh, do I like Starbucks or care of you more? Um, Caribou? Oh. Because they have the vanilla oh. at Starbucks. I forgot about that. Yeah. That's okay, I wanted you to get one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> Just be complicated! It's so complicated! It's so complicated! Oh man, yeah. Fried trail definitely sucks. I, I think Yvonne won the best drive. Was that all of it? Yeah. <laughs> she got like two wrong or something. You give me all the half points I deserve. I didn't know we could have questions with multiple answers. Well, play the game right. Cheetah. <laughs> I guess I'm wondering what the heck is a pride drill? <laughs> it's like so, so it's like like full court one on one basically. But you don't get the score, it's just like ball handling. Yeah, it's just like ball handling, working on defense, and you have to like go up and down the floor like multiple times. And I always have to be like with Yvonne, so it's just a little tiring. <laughs> it's tiring for me too. Yeah, yeah. Know. It's just not it's fun. Rough. It's not fun. It's tough. And I'm just running through some of the other answers now that we're through the list of questions. I am wondering, Grace, if it wasn't Christmas, what did you think Yvonne's holiday would have been? Because you were going to the more obscure observances before you settled on Christmas. She, yeah, she just doesn't, like, I guess she likes Christmas, but she just doesn't get into the holiday spirit as one should. Um, <laughs> I, I feel like you don't Christmas is like the one holiday like I'll actually be the stuff for. Yeah. I get no, but I just feel like it'd be like she seems like an Easter type of gal to me. <laughs> I do love Jesus. <laughs> That's good. Me too. <laughs> Well, now that you're done, uh, what do you say with this friendship quiz? What do you make of it? Uh, I imagine the two of you had fun with it, but now that you're done, what's your take on this test of friendship, if you will? Um, I feel like I need to be better at remembering like, <laughs> specific events. Like, I feel like I know her personally and like her family. Like I knew her dad goes to Ethiopia every year, but just like dates and specific games, I kind of struggle a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I did pretty good. But your, <laughs> your answers were, your questions were easy though. They were. I didn't know it could be so specific. Yeah. Well, it's something I always say, the questions, they seem easy if you know the answer. If you don't, then <laughs> it doesn't come off as easily to you. But I'll say this, that was amusing to figure out <laughs> when you listed your schools for the milestones of on with 1000 and then your all time record and seeing Grace go through the whole list. <laughs> Or some of those questions that had a finite set of answers, and then you can see you're actively going through, okay, which could it be? Yeah. And when Grace was talking about having single digit kids, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Were you thinking of having more, Grace? Or oh, no, was... I meant before I said before I said like four or five. So I meant just like now I decided on like just oh like <laughs> one. No, I wasn't planning. I was thinking yeah, like 10, one. like, yeah, yeah, that's sorry, gotta clarify. Okay, I was thinking, like, wait, were you thinking of having like no, 10 no, no, or 12 no, no. of them? I didn't I get a whole basketball team, <laughs> <laughs> and then you might remember when they get their 1000th point. <laughs> hey, you have to write the dates down. Yeah, <laughs> my memory's just got it. <laughs> So what would you make of this season? I remember asking Yvonne this when I had her on my podcast in the fall, shortly after she committed, but you all had a chance to play through winter sports and play through at least a portion of fall sports. And now it looks like we're working our way back to normal. But after the abrupt stop last year to at least have that opportunity to play for state again i know you came up a bit short this time but what would you make of this whirlwind season yeah i mean i'm really just like thankful for it to be able to like have closure to our high school careers especially like not knowing how much of a season we were going to get to start with um and just being able to play like with grace and like sydney pelzer like the like for like one last season like 
Um, ultimately, like it was a it was a really great season. We did well. We had a great record. Um, we had a lot of fun with the team. Just like bonded really well, especially with like some of the underclassmen. So, um, yeah, we came up we came up a little bit short in that section final with that overtime loss, but. I'm really just thankful for like the experiences and like um, these people to look back on these memories with. Um, and especially like getting closer to graduation, like I find myself like going back and remembering things a lot more. So I'm just really thankful to have those memories. Yeah, I would just say, I'm just like thankful to have the, cause I know volleyball didn't really have a good finish. So I'm glad basketball did, so that's nice. And now that your basketball careers are behind you, what would you say was the most exciting moment and the most embarrassing moment? Oh, I feel like I, if we're both on the same page, definitely making it to state. Like that is just. Yeah, that's like irreplaceable. For sure. And, like, just and I should have clarified. <laughs> favorite high school moment because I realized oh yeah, there's still college to look forward to <laughs> right right yeah. what were you going to say though Grace oh I was just saying like that like not even state like basketball that's so cool but like being at the hotel together just the whole experience of being at state just like uh, not comparable to anything just a lot of fun yeah uh I don't know most embarrassing moment feel like I, I feel like mine's kind of cool and embarrassing it's like I got Yvonne I was doing the back cut Yvonne tripped me oh, and then I yeah. fell on my knees and hit a shot from my knees that was this funny. is yeah that was last year during like the section semi-final against Humble. yeah yeah that was funny I tripped her and then <laughs> and then like it was here and then a girl was still closing out and I just decided to shoot it yeah uh, it went in yeah so Embarrassing. embarrassing for me. I don't know. I feel like anytime you airball a three, it's just embarrassing. Especially like if you're going on a run and like you had just scored the last few possessions and then you just like kind of whiff it. It's kind of yikes, you know? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh. The, at the end of, I don't remember who we were playing, but we were. It was like the end of the first half and Sid like saved the ball from going out of bounds and I caught it under the basket and I like broke the layup. Yes! And then I bricked the layup, I got the rebound, bricked it again, got the rebound, bricked it again, finally got the foul call and then I missed both of my free throws. I remember that. And I that feel was, like that might have been Crystal Ray. Yeah. I think it was, I think it was in sections. Yeah, that was, ooh, I don't know. Yeah, first team of sections, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was tough. First team of sections was New Life. Oh. Was it New Life? I feel like it was. I feel like they're all tall, which is more Christian. I think it was Christian. I don't I, know see, which I, can, I can remember games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was definitely embarrassing. But it was funny, though. It was funny. Padding the rebound stats. Padding, I'm just trying to pad the stats. <laughs> I was going to say, Yvonne, were you trying to get that double double out of the way? Just <laughs> keep missing. <laughs> do what you got to do. <laughs> I mean, it counts as a rebound. So, yeah, you could manipulate that. <laughs> Maybe that was planned. All right. Uh, how do I get that double double? All right. Let's yeah. just miss a ball. <laughs> you got to make a way. And I saw if I'm correct through social media, because uh, I do that as part of my prep, uh, the two of you got to take part in a little prom or dance recently, like the one time, or I guess Yvonne's first time that she dressed up. I forget what you put for the <laughs> caption. But yeah. Apparently um, this was a big deal for Yvonne. <laughs> yeah, so prom was on Saturday and it was like um, the first time I had ever gone to a school dance. Like just throughout all of my years of high school, I just like never went. It's so not that like was, she couldn't go. She didn't yeah, go. I just like, I like, just didn't go. So that was my first time at a school dance and my last time because I'm a senior. So yeah. Some colleges have dances. Yeah, but last high school. Yeah. So 
what are you looking forward to most? Devon, I know you'll continue playing at NDSCS and Grace, you will do the same at Northwestern. You mentioned the relative closeness to both campuses and Devon, of course, NDSCS, hopefully a springboard to another college down the road. But what are you looking forward to as you get ready to make that transition from high school athletes to college athletes? Um, honestly, just like a new experience. Like, I mean, like it's, it's fun to be able to, you know, play with the friends that like you've known like throughout your whole life every day and stuff. But I mean, I'm just, I'm glad for some, like to have something new to look forward to and have something like different. Um, and like, obviously it'll be like an adjustment, but I'm excited for that. And I'm excited to like learn from like a different coach and just get to know the players over there. So, yeah. Yeah, like Yvonne said, like me, Yvonne and Sydney have been playing CA basketball since like seventh grade. So it's like, it's been like six years. Like it almost felt like we should have graduated like two years ago. Yeah. So I'm just excited for like new experiences and meeting new people. I think that'll be super fun. Mm -hmm. But also stay close with my high school friends. And I'll leave you with this. Are there any other stories that summarize your friendship that you would like to share with us? I feel like the apple juice pizza one just <laughs> really is <laughs> good time. Yeah, yeah, just the best memories. Yeah. Simpler days. Mm -hmm. Well, also, Yvonne and I used to just, just like drop 30 in those games, just like casual. Yeah. Like <laughs> now it's like a struggle, but like we would, it was like 60 points and we each drop like 30 something. Yeah. Just casually. Yeah. yeah. It was, yeah, that was definitely fun. I think, like I said before, like our relationship is super lighthearted. So like, I mean, during like our off box together and stuff, we'll just be like sitting around in the comments, just like joking around. She'll ask me to go do something with her. I'm like, dude, I'm he not trying to walk no. over there right now. And then I ask the <laughs> Angela, and they, they sometimes say yes. But if she doesn't say yes, they sometimes just drag her. There. And it works, it works. Yeah, but I mean, super fun, super lighthearted, so yeah. Well, if we've learned anything, it's that apparently Yvonne doesn't like to go places with you, Grace, no matter yeah. if it's the vending machine or I forget what other locations uh, you listed. <laughs> it seems like no matter where you want to go, you have to persuade or drag Devon with you. Uh, she doesn't Dustin. come willingly. Just in school. I just don't want to sure. get up and go walk somewhere. She'll, she'll go to places for sure. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Let's go to Chick-fil-A. She's like, yeah. Down, always. Yes. Down. yes. So you'll go to fast food with me. Or Target. <laughs> or Target. Yeah. Always Target. Love Target. Target and Chick-fil-A, but not the vending machine. <laughs> I know. It's not worth it. It's not worth the trip. Sorry. <laughs> well, Grace, you're gonna have to find a new uh, vending machine partner next fall. <laughs> I'll work on it. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find a teammate or a fellow student at Northwestern who could help you. And Yvonne, well, I would say, I guess you're free now, unless another yeah. team decides to pressure you. That's true. <laughs> you know, someone at NDSCS is going to be watching this tape and be like, hey, Yvonne, you want to come to the vending machine? <laughs> nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'll go to NDSCS and set it right. Set it right. Um, and then I'll go, I'll sneak out Yvonne. Well, this was a good time, even if we've established that Yvonne and vending machines don't go together. I think the friendship <laughs> that you have built goes a long way. And even though Grace, you might have struggled a bit with the questions, like I said at the start, the points really don't matter. This is more a fun twist on sharing stories and learning things about you that I never would have thought of when it comes to TV shows, food and the like. I knew about Yvonne's enthusiasm for The Office. Uh, she makes that pretty clear. But there are quite a few things I didn't know and that's why I enjoy doing this. It's a fun way to 
learn some new details. And I'm glad the two of you uh, were willing to put your friendship to the test. I'd say you passed in flying colors. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Thank us. you. Appreciate it. Of course. And I wish you luck as you finish the rest of your high school term and then make that transition. I know you can't wait to take part in graduation and actually get to have one this year as we make our way back to normal. So hopefully, uh, I know you won't be seeing me at games next season, at least not at the high school level, because you'll be in college. But I'll say this, uh, Yvonne or Grace, if either Northwestern or NDSCS needs an announcer, I'm no. available. <laughs> Well, thanks again for doing this. And you let us know if you have any other friends you want to put on the spot. Now that you two are done, I think you can pass that torch to someone else and put them on the spot and watch them uh, try to come up with answers like you did. Yeah. So once again, Grace Landvik and Yvonne Tensaye completing another edition of our friendship quiz. And if you have a story or if you have a friend that you would like to put to the test when it comes to friendship, just contact us at tsbtelevision at gmail.com or on social media at Be Mike Beaton. So until next time, thanks for watching.